Hey everybody, so this is going to be my first real YouTube video. Um, this is going to be me discussing my first opinions on the WhatNot app. So, <clears throat> a little backstory. Um, I applied, it took me about two weeks to get approved for auctions. Um, I think I mostly got approved because of my TikTok. I got 120000 on there. They either want you to have a decent social media following or they want you to have, be, have like so much time of like being a reseller online or something like that, being an online seller. Um, I've been doing Pokemon cards, um, MetaZoo, mostly Akora sometimes, mostly pretty much any TCG I'm on there selling right now, and uh, sports cards we're doing, sports breaks, boxes. Um, my overall opinion of the WhatNot app is I like it. I think it's definitely worth it if you want to be a reseller um right now i'm trying i'm working on getting um approved with an account with a distribute with a distributor for pokemon um not sure who i'm gonna go with yet um like tonight we tonight was like my sixth or seventh live stream i've done we did 647 dollars in sales tonight with i did about 57 lots so about 70 or 80 cards. Um, it's good. So they charge 8%. They charge 8% off everything. That's what they take for their cut. They also charge, I think, 30-something cents for every lot that you sell. So it's not bad in the aspect that they do. They handle all the shipping stuff. You don't have to do that. You don't have to go get the person's address and name and write it down. So after you get done with your uh, stream, you will go into your... Uh, stream for that night and bulk generate labels and bulk print the labels print all the labels out already has their addresses fill up people's bags package it all nice and discreet i like to always give a handwritten note to everybody who buys um it's been good though it's been really good um a lot of people get on there and do those games and try to get their product to go for you know well over market price and that's nothing wrong with that that's perfectly fine i haven't done that yet i've only been doing uh a lot of singles lots and lots of singles um did some giveaways on there it's a lot of fun though i've gotten to interact with the community really well um so if any of you guys are thinking about going on whatnot to become a auctioneer go for it nothing's stopping you um i had a a lot of people quit their job and went and done this i had a family uh thing that happened my mother had had some surgeries done so I came uh I've been taking care of her so not really able to work a nine to five and I don't think I'm going to go back really to be honest with you I think selling online has been a good venture for me and you don't you're not just stuck with TCG that's just what I deal with you can go on there that I think whatnot they originally started out selling um Funko Pops you can get uh limited edition Funko Pops all kinds of Funko Pops and uh that's what they started out, uh, people selling Funko Pop. So I'm going to start doing that too. Um, you can go on there and sell and buy NFTs. Everything but the kitchen sink. I mean, you, there's fashion. You go on there and buy clothes, sports cards. Um, but my overall opinion is 10 out of 10. I mean, there are some things that I think should be changed. Um, it's not all good. There's a little bad that comes along with it. So um, I have sold a hundred and ninety something lots. So I've I've shipped a hundred and ninety something packages to this day out of six live streams. Out of those hundred and ninety something shipments that I've done, twenty three people have left me a review. So that's a downfall. You know, it takes a little while to get your reviews up. Another one, people can't really write anything. They can't type out their opinion. For what for reviewing you they're only able to leave stars um i believe the category there's four categories i believe they are shipping um packaging um overall and something else but they can click one to five stars in each of those categories one thing i don't understand about the app that i don't believe is right is they allow people to rate you on your shipping packaging i understand that's my deal but what not handles all the shipping like, if somebody was on my live and they said, hey, man, can you ship that out, uh, overnight it, or uh, or priority uh, mail it? No, no, I can't. I can only do what WhatNot allows, and they only allow you to ship USPS. 
and they provide the shipping label. You know what I mean? They do they do all that. So I don't really understand how people are able to rate me my, my shipping or not, yeah my shipping. I don't see how people can rate me on that, but. I send in a support ticket to whatnot. We'll see how they respond to that. I doubt they say anything. They'll probably tell me that they'll pass that along. But um, another downfall for I think for the buyers and on whatnot is shipping. So they charge you three dollars. So if you come into my stream and you purchase the first thing in that stream for that day, it's going to charge you three dollars shipping, and then everything else you buy after that for me is a dollar, a dollar shipping. Doesn't matter if it's a pack of cards. Or if it's a Funko Pop, about probably what a pound in here, half a pound Funko Pop. Doesn't matter what you buy, it's $1 shipping. And that's alright if you're on there buying clothes or big boxed items, that's great for you. But if you're buying singles and you're buying cards, think about this. You could come onto my live, if you were to buy, let's say you bought 100 singles from me. 100 cards, about a stack that tall. That's going to get sandwiched between cardboard. It's going to go into a bubble mailer wrapped in bubble wrap. Wrapped in bubble wrap, go into a bubble mailer. But those 100 cards would be able to fit into one single little package. And you're going to pay $103 in shipping. So that's kind of a downfall of you. That kind of, I feel like, so Whatnot's making a ton of money on shipping. A ton of money on shipping. But, you know, it's kind of bad for the, that's one downfall for the buyer's end. But if you're buying heavier items, it kind of works out. Um... I want to do a giveaway to some people on YouTube. I'm really trying to get my videos pushed on YouTube. Um, trying to get followers built up and see how it goes. I plan to do a daily vlog on here. Vlog, vlog, whatever you want to call it. I want to do a daily video on here though. Just kind of telling you guys about how, what I'm doing as a reseller. Um, I'll be selling on eBay also. And I'll take you guys along for in another video of how that goes. But, uh. I buy things from all around YouTube, I mean not YouTube, uh, uh, eBay, I buy a lot on eBay, um, go to thrift stores and buy things, resell it, clean it up, see if it's worth anything. Um, so if you guys want to learn tips and tricks on reselling, selling on whatnot, any of that, let me know. If any of you guys are interested about the application process to becoming a whatnot seller, you start out with a, like, I guess I'd call it the identity application. You just do a little, through an ID me thing. They ID you and make sure you are who you, you, know, you say you are. And once that gets approved, you can fill out the official um, application to become a whatnot auctioneer. Um, it's not very long. It's real short. You fill it out on their, through their browser. And um, like I said, they either want to see that you have a decent social media following or you have... Um, so much experience as a seller on online sales. Um, they also want you to take a picture or two of what you intend to sell. I just took a picture of my um, Pokemon collection, so a lot of the cards that I had and stuff. And it took about a week and a half, two weeks. I was approved. Um, I, I guess I can give a tip and tricks of how I do my uh, auctions. I keep team bags in here with me as far as just the TCG side of this guys there's other things you can sell in there I keep team bags I will uh, I go in I start my live show I list my items I just put down Pokemon lot I make it it's very generic I'll put down Pokemon lot and it'll say how many I'll put a hundred I put a shipping profile of one to three ounces um, now say I put a single pack of celebrations cards up on the auction block up for sale. Okay, that's up there. Somebody bids eight dollars for it. They take it. Great. I, I I take out a team bag, drop it in the team bag, um, sandwich them between a top load, couple top loaders so I don't get bent, and uh, seal the bag in the front. Write down lot one, and do that for the next one. Lot two, lot three, lot four, lot five, whatever. Now, whenever you get ready to go into the app after your lives over, make sure there's no canceled orders. If there is none. You can either choose to accept those or not to accept them, regardless. But once you're done with that, you go to Generate Bulk Label. That's going to send out a uh, message to everybody who bought from you that, hey, your, your label's been created for your whatnot stream, for this whatnot stream. Um, let them know that your, their item's being ready to be uh, shipped. Packaging takes a bit. A lot of the whatnot sellers on there have two or more people helping them. They'll have somebody in the back loading the packages and somebody else putting them in the packages and getting ready to take them and ship them. Um, I do it by myself. So I usually will do a live stream, about a four hour live stream, sell six, seven, eight hundred dollars worth of stuff. 
and then the next day I won't do any live. I'll spend the entire next day for shipping. But that's, I don't ship real fast. I, it takes me a whole day to ship because I hand write every single person. If you spent $1 on my live, I am writing you out a handwritten note, uh, thanking you for your purchase. Um, yeah. So what I would like to see from this video, I'd like to see some new followers on YouTube. Um, my videos will get better as time persists. I plan on doing some, uh, some uh, live breaks on here. We're going to open up some sports cards, some Pokemon, some MetaZoo. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, from this YouTube video, <clears throat> all you have to do is comment. Leave any type of comment. I don't care what you comment. Um, comment something on this YouTube video, guys. Help it get some traction. And in return, I will do a giveaway. One person in the comments. Um, you can either have your choice of Pokemon, MetaZoo, or sports, which I don't have any sports cards up here right now. They're in the other room, but um, I'll, if it's Pokemon, I'm going to give away a booster box. If it's if you pick MetaZoo, it's going to be a uh, MetaZoo uh, Kickstarter pack. Uh, green K right there. Kickstarter MetaZoo packs. These packs go for about $250, 220 270 300 depending on the market. Um, if you pick Pokemon, I'm going to give away, um, let's do an Evolving Skies, Evolving Skies booster box. Um, tonight on our, um, MetaZoo, or our, uh, Pokemon live stream, we did a, uh, Ultra Premium Collection box break, broke it open, sold a lot of stuff in it. Let me show you guys how this live stream went. We did, um, this is how I do this. I just put a post-it note on these, lot 15. That's a gold metal Charizard card. We got the gold Pikachu card in there. Um, another thing that you can sell on whatnot is money. Like here, I got a 1957 series silver certificate. Pretty cool. Um, but this is my uh, seller's area. But, um, but no, I just... There's not a whole lot of videos on here, at least I didn't feel so, that were really in-depth and explained the process for whatnot. Um, I'm sure I'm leaving out a lot of stuff, guys. I, I just wanted to make a short YouTube video and just kind of let people know what to expect when you get on there. Um, the community is wonderful. The trading card community is wonderful, guys. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there in the trading card community that have tons and tons and tons and tons of cards and you want to get into reselling, don't go for it, you know. One of the things I would suggest, and this is what I'm going to do as, as, for, as far as a business perspective goes, when you get paid, so you get <laughs> payments, let me get into that real quick guys. So payments, you, um, you'll get paid one or no, 48 to 72 hours after the tracking shows delivered. So you got to think, you do a live stream today, ship out tomorrow, give two or three, about three days for it to get to its destination, plus an additional two to three days for you to get paid. So from the time you do your stream, about a week, about a week later, you'll get your payment. It'll go on your WhatNot app, it'll show as your payment. Um, and then you can choose to do an ACH transfer to your bank. Or to your PayPal which is what I'm gonna do so but what we're gonna do guys this is my sixth live stream I did today okay it was I think we did $600 net sales today we did 600 net sales the other day on MetaZoo too strangely enough um, a couple hundred dollar streams but it's been good but we're gonna, what I'm gonna do as far as business perspective goes I'm gonna keep the money on whatnot I'm not gonna take it off I'm gonna leave it on there uh, the next video I do, I'm going to show you guys my uh, sell sheet. It shows how much I've made on there and what it's like. That way I can let you guys know how, how, how it is to be a seller on there. I'm going to leave it all on there for a month. I'm going to do a month's worth of live streams. Leave all the money on there. And that way you guys can see what's done well. Um, yeah, what's not. Um, I um, Mostly what I want to do though today is just get this video out here and let people know what it's like as a seller. I know that whenever I first started thinking about applying and when I got approved, I was looking for videos. And there's a few videos on YouTube, but I just kind of wanted to go in depth a little bit about my opinion and what I think of the app. 
But uh, if you guys would give me a follow on here on YouTube, guys, help me get this YouTube uh, take took off a little bit. Um, I plan to start making at least a video or two a day, and uh, my videos will get better. And I thank you guys for watching.